Now let me step back and point out that differentiation here is just a part of Taylor series. Right. Differentiation is exactly about this portion, these two terms of Taylor expression. Now, how come we have this right to forget about the rest of it? I did it a few times, right? I said the value of f at this point is approximately equal to the sum of these two terms, and they never went into those infinitely many terms. Can you imagine how much they can contribute <coughs> to the value? If you add infinitely many, even small terms, right? So why is it that I'm allowed to forget about them? What is it that makes the sum of <coughs> these two values a good approximation? Not just approximation, not just something, but a really good approximation. Well, we have to make sure that those remaining terms are small. Right? So this approximation, this is a good approximation. Only if those terms are small. How to make sure they are small? Well, a way to make sure is to make sure x is really close to x0. So that this difference is a small number, <coughs> and when you raise it to the power 2, it's even smaller. And when you raise it to the power 3, it's even much, much smaller. Like in this example, the difference was like of order 10 to the negative 3. So a square root would be of the order 10 to the negative 6 and then 10 to the negative 9, and so on and so forth. So the rest of series is really negligible if x minus x0 is small, if x is close <coughs> to x0. And that's just another restatement of this necessity of localization. That's exactly why you need localization to make sure that the infinite sum, infinite sum is small. Okay, so that is basically what we are going to study. Any questions? No questions. All right, now 